Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another Minecraft ship tutorial video and today this is part one of my RMS Windsor Castle tutorial. Now this is a remodel and sort of redesign of the Arundel Castle which I did uh, I think 2019. Uh, so it's basically using the same superstructure as that but a new hull uh, for the updated version. So basically this is what Arundel Castle would have looked like uh, well, it did look like when it was reprofiled, same as the Windsor Castle, because they were sister ships. I decided to keep the Arundel Castle tutorial as is, the full stacker version, and for the Windsor Castle, I decided to go for the two stacker version, just to distinguish between the two. Because uh, uh, the, the changes that they made were vast, as you can tell. So, going from a full stacker stubby, pa uh, stubby bow to a pointy bow and two funnels and a reworked slightly superstructure. Uh, but I've redesigned the hull as well just to give them a distinction between the two. So here's what we have. Um, this also replaces the Windsor Castle I did a few years ago as well, which is a bit crap in, in terms of uh, what this one comes up with. So this replaces that as well. So this is our new build, and uh, this is what we have. So a few stats of the build. The full length of the ship is 358 blocks, so it's not a, not a small ship. The width is 37. So 158 by 37 in length, width as well. Uh, the grey hull is 13 high, but slightly higher at the peak because of the shear. Uh, the red section is 12 high, and the keel is 319. The keel I've already laid, which is here, 319 blocks. So that's what we're going to be building. And today we're just going to focus on the red section at the bottom of the ship. So if you're going to be building this on water, you're going to want to build the keel on the 11th block below the surface of the water. So we're going to go over to our keel just down here and we're going to focus on one side for now, just going to focus on the left side and I've also noticed that the propeller on my prototype over there has fallen off or well, there's a piece missing but that's because I was counting but uh, I'll fix that don't worry so we're going to go to the keel, like I said the keel is 319 blocks and if you're building it on water build it on the 11th block below the surface so we're going to start on block 6 of the keel so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then we're going to build seven rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven rows of six. And then we want four rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 seven. And then two rows of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. And then after that, you want a line of 127. So I'll put a block there. And I'll use a welder to measure it. So it's 127 you want. So that one already. I just built it freehand. So I want 127 for the full length. And this will be the, uh, the very edge of the bottom of the ship. It will be slightly wider as we go up a bit. Uh, don't worry about that just for now. So 127, we're looking at my notes. So how fast are that is 101, so a little bit further. And that is 124, 25, 26, 27. That's 127. Like so. And now we're curving back towards the center. So back towards the center we want two rows of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then we want 5 rows of 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's 5 rows. And then we want 2 rows of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it should have 12 blocks of keel poking out the back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there we are, so it's 12 blocks of keel poking out the back. Now if you're building this uh, on your own, you might, might want to do the other side as well, uh, but I'm going to do the, the other side off camera just to save time, so that's how one half of the ship looks. Of course, the keel is the center line, so everything this side of the keel is the same on the other side of the keel, so that's all symmetrical. So, anyway, what we're doing now, we go to the front of the 127, so the, the, the front of the widest part, or the, the front of the long line on the outside edge here, 
and on the front of that we're going to build out we're going to build out two rows of two so on the front block go out two and on top of that two like that and then from this top block here end block sorry you're going to go back three one two three and then on top of that end block here go up two one two and out one like that so up two one and then back two again one two and then you're going to go up four on the end block one two three four and then one like that so that just makes the ship slightly wider and uh, that's that bit there so this bit here if you look on the on the prototype this area here is, is where the crow uh, crosshairs is, is that area just there makes the ship slightly wider and the uh, all things like that so that's the front part done we go to the back section now and what we're going to do now is on the back of the 127 which is this block here we're going to go out two one two and two again like that and then up two one two and one like that and then we go up four one two three four and one like that and then we go back eleven so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's that section there so that's a little bit confusing compared to what I normally do but that's how that's going to be and now what we want to do now is between the front part and the back part here is just connect these sections up so we just go one block up one block above where we were and then build the line all the way forward so basically I do this I do a few blocks at a time to so build that line all the way forward and the next line above build that one all the way forward like that's till it connects up to the front part and then the line above that build that all the way forward as well and then one block above and one block out to this block here build that all the way forward and then same with the one above that and the next two above that like so build those forward build those forward Oop, like that so just build those all the way forward and then the, the last row which is this one block poking out build that all the way forward as well so you just have a big wall shaped like that going all the way forward to connect to the front section so I should use world edit now just to save a little bit of time and get these sections filled in so like I say just build that whole design all the way forward and it will connect up to the blocks here on the front so I just use set 159.14 I think to connect to there yep that's it and to do the same the next two rows along I do apologize for using world edit but just, just it does save a massive amount of time so that's that section done there and then the next row above which is four high goes all the way to the front as well down to that point there and then the last bit which is the single block which pokes out the sign do the same to the back end as well and there we go so the back end is already done you've got this big bit sticking out the back there but that's fine and then you've got a big wall along the side and it don't look too bad. It's a bit confusing how it's designed but trust me it, it works so that's the side panel of our ship done and if, it, if you do the other side at the same time you'll sort of understand how it all goes. Now what we're going to do now we're going to add some signs to label the ship up. Um, I know some people don't use the signs I do because it is a build aid for me so if you don't like it then to you. So we're going to go to the center block and put the zero sign so this is the center line of the ship so center is always zero and then it's one two how far out do we go we go out to 18 so go one this is the next one there so that's one there and then two and then three oh don't want 3d i just want three three no three there we are three and then four and then five six and then seven eight nine and ten and then eleven and twelve thirteen and then fourteen and fifteen above that which is there so I get fourteen on the ground and fifteen above that sixteen is above that like so and then back a bit and then out one again up to there which is seventeen there so you see it goes 14, 15, 16 and 17 and then the 18th is up there so that's section 18 done like that so that's how we're going to label our sections so that's one, one half done so I just go to the back end I do the the last sections so it just makes it a little bit easier so section 18 would be the end of this long sticky out bit so 18 would be up there and then down to the next row here would be 17 down below that is 16 
below that 15 below that is 14 and then you just carry on going to section 0 at the back so I'll do these as well I may as well so section 0 will be the back end there or the center then we just go out 1 to well, I've done 14 so 1 oh, damn it. 1 to 12 or whatever 3 and then 4 and then 5 and then 6 and then 7 8 9 10 and 11 12 and finally 13 just here there we go so that's all the sections done all labeled up so that is what we've done so far so what I'm going to do now I should do a jump cut while I do the other side and get them all placed out and then we can start building the hull upwards properly so I shall return in just a moment and I'll try and slow down my talking as well while we're doing those bits otherwise it may get more confusing so I apologize if I'm talking too fast but anyway I should do a jump cut and then we shall return so back in a moment Okay, back again. So there's both sides of the ship done, and it should all look something like that. I've added all the signs on both sides as well, so that's uh, how our base plate for our ship should look. Both sides are all complete. So now what we're going to do now is go down to the front of the keel, section zero, and we're going to build the hull sections up. Originally, I was going to do the whole hull in one part, but because there's a, a three-color palette, I, th I thought I'd just do the red for today, and then the grey and the white for part two. So we're just going to do one color today which will be the red and I'm just going to work on one side as well again but if you're doing this it's best to do section one section one section two section two section three section three it's up to you how you want to do this but I'm just going to do one side but uh, anyway for section zero in red we want to go uh, forward two rows of five so one two three four five one two three four five and then four one two three four and three one two three and then two, one, two, two again, one, two, up two, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two. And that should be 12 in height, including the keel. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's 12 high, including the keel. That's fine. So that was section zero. And now we move on to section one. So like I say, you can do both sides at the same time, or just the one, it's up to you. So for section one, we want forward six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and four, one, two, three, four, and three, one, two, three, three again, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, up two, one, two, like that. There we go. So that was section one. And then moving on to number two. We want forward two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, up two, one, two, and up two, one, two, like that. There we go, so that was section uh, two. Now we're on to number three. And for section three, we want forward two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Up two. One, two, and one forward like that. Marvelous. So that was section three. Now we're on to number four. And for section four, we want forward three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. And three. One, two, three. Four rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. And one on top. Like that. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry four rows of two and it's a two 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 like that and then one on top there we are so four rows of two one two three four yep and then one on top nearly screwed that up <laughs> now we're on to five uh, section five sorry section five we want four rows of six one two three four five 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 six and four one two three four 
two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. So that was section five. And now we're on to number six. For number six, we want four rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. Three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, and then three rows of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Apologies if, this, if it lagged out for a second then. Uh, so it's three rows of three and three rows of two. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, just apologies for that one. Anyway, on to um, section seven. Now for section seven, we want four rows of six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then five. One, two, three, three, four, five. And then four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Marvellous. So that was section seven. Now we're on to number eight. And for number eight, we want forward four rows of six again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll four in it. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four rows of six, and then we want five. One, two, three, four, five, and four. One, two, three, four. Three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And two rows of two. One, two, one, two. Marvelous. And now we're on to number nine. I feel a bit short of breath for some reason. Don't feel great, but there we go. For section nine, we want forward to seven. So one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, 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 six. And then we want four. One, two, three, four, and then three rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and two, two. One, two, one, two. There we go. That's those ones there. <sighs> You know, right to number ten. For number ten, we want forward two rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then th two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two rows of two. One, two, one, two. Marvellous. So that was section 10. Now we're on to 11. For number 11, we want forward two rows of seven. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Three rows of six. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can't help feeling I screwed up a little bit there, but I'm just going to check. I think it's fine. If it does screw up, then I'll come back to it. Anyway, so that's three rows of six. And then we want uh, two, uh, three rows of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Row of three. One, two, three. And then two rows of two. One, two, one, two. Marvellous. So that's a bigger, big, bigger gap. But if that is wrong, we can come back to it. So that was section eleven. And now we move on to number twelve. That's why I number these things. You see, so if there is a script, we can come back to it. So for number uh, 12, we want two rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And two. One, two, like that. And there we go, I think that's fine. So now we move on to section 13. Everyone's favourite. And for section 13, we want 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 rows of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
two rows of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go, so that was section 13. And now we're on number 14. Uh, so for number 14, we want to remove this block here, bonk, and replace that with two rows of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five. One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, like that. Marvellous. I think that should have been a three, but meh, it is what it is. And now we move on to section 15. So for section 15, remove this block here, and replace that with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. And then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Th uh, two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then two, one, two. Now to that number fifteen. And down uh, number sixteen, which is here. And for number sixteen, we want three rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then five, one, two, three, four, five. Two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Three rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Marvellous. So that was sixteen. And now we want to number seventeen. For number seventeen we want four two rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then two rows of five. One two three four five. One two three four five. And a four. One two three four. And a three. One two three. And then two. One two. And that's the same height again. That's fine. Good. 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 And now finally on to number eight. Uh, yeah, eighteen. We want uh, to go forward five. One two three four five. And then four. One two three four. And then three. One two three. And that's the same height again. And there we go, so that is all 18 sections of the front half of the ship done. Um, for one <coughs> one side anyway, so it should look something like that. So if we just go to the front, we sort of get a, a rough ship shape shape going. Like that. So that's, like I said, that's one side done. So the next job to do, um, before you do the other side, or if you've already done the other side, is to go on the inside. And if you're familiar with my builds, you, do, you know what to do. Just go on the inside and start filling in the gaps. Like so. Nothing too technical really, but it just makes life a little bit easier. I'll do the first few rows, why not? Because I'm lazy. Yeah, do one more. There we go, so there's the first few done. You can see the hull is filling out quite nicely. So what I shall do now, I shall do a jump cut while I sort these ones out, and I'll also do the other side, and then we'll come back and do the back end. So, um, yeah, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the hole filled in, and in theory it should look something like that. And I've also done the other side as well, so it should all look something like that. It definitely looks more of a wider ship than uh, the illusion gives, because the ship is it's a small ship, but it's actually quite wide. Um, but yeah, that's how it should look, and on the inside it looks something like that, so it's not too bad. Not brilliant, not perfect, but it will do. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is just fly to the back of the ship and start the whole process again. And don't worry, part two, we're going to do the grey as well the same way, so uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. <sighs> I'm glad I'm not doing Queen Mary 2 right now. <laughs> anyway, uh yeah, anyway, what we're going to do, section 0 now, at the back of the ship, the very, the very centre of the back end, we're going to build up 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, and then back 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, if you get confused with what I'm saying during this build, if I ever say forward when I'm doing this way, I always mean going backwards, just because we're the wrong way around, saying forward is easier than saying back. But anyway, 
as it's up, so it's up 11 and then forward or back whichever way that way towards the stern is 3 so there we are so that was uh, section 1 uh, section 0 sorry so now for section 1 <sighs> I need a drink anyway the section 1 we want to build forward 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then up two, one, two, and then forward three, one, two, three. Like that. Just like that. Right, anyway, so now we move on to section two. For section two, we want forward two rows of five, so one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and then up two, one, two, up three, one, two, two, three, and then up three rows of two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and forward three, one, two, three. There we go. So great. If you look at it, it sort of gradually teeters back one block um, for the first few rows, anyway. Now we move on to section uh, three. Section three, we want uh, forward six in red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and five. One, two, two, three, four, five. And then seven rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, and then three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four. Marvellous. Now we move on to section four. I'll try and slow it down a bit because it is a bit confusing. So for section four, we want forward seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then six, one, two, three, three, four, five, six. And then five rows of two, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two rows of four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Marvellous. Now I move on to section five. Now for section five, we want forward two rows of seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then three, one, two, three, and then two rows of two, one, two, one, two, and two rows of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Marvelous. So that was section five. And now we move on to number six. And for number six, we want. Um, I think that's nine. I can't actually read my. Yeah, I think it's nine. So we just go forward nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then four. One, two, three, four, and then we want five rows of three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then five. One, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go, so now the gaps are getting a bit bigger. Now we move on to section uh, 7. And for section 7, we want forward two rows of 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then four rows of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two rows of four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like that. And now I move on to section eight. For section eight, we want forward two rows of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then five rows of no, four rows of five, sorry. So four rows of five. One two three four 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 five. And then two rows of four. One two three four. One. One two three four. And then two rows of five. One two three four five. One two three four five. And then four. One two three four. Marvelous. So that was section uh, eight. And now we move on to number nine. I really don't feel well, I know what's wrong with me. I feel out of breath. Anyway, for section 9, we want forward two rows of 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we want seven rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 and then one, two, three, four, five. There we go, so seven rows of five, like so. And now we want to number ten. Section ten we want for two rows of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then three rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then three sixes. Three sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvelous. So now we're on to number eleven. And for number eleven, we want forward eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we want nine rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So nine rows of six. Now we're on to number. 12. Um, so for number 12 we want forward 10 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then 6 rows of 6 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and it's 7 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvellous. I think that was six, wasn't it? Three, four, five, yeah, it was six. Now we're on to number thirteen. This is this one here. So number thirteen we want forward twelve. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then five rows of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvellous. So that was number 13. Everyone's favourite number, of course. And now we're on to number 14. So for 14, we remove this block here and replace it with two rows of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then two rows of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then six rows of 6. So one two three four five six 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 and then seven one two three four five six seven marvellous now we're on to number fifteen which is here and for number fifteen remove the block again above it and replace it with 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then we want four rows of 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then five rows of 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 there we go, so that was section 
15. Now we move on to number 16. And for 16, we remove the block above it, bonk, and replace it with six rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 And then three rows of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvelous. Now we're on to. What was that? Uh, yeah, so now it was that one. So then we move on to number nine. Uh, no, like number 17, sorry. For number 17, uh, remove the block above it. And then we add three rows of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Marvelous. So that was that one. So that was seventeen. And then finally eighteen. We just add a row of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Marvelous. There we go. So that is all eighteen rows of the back end of the ship done. And it should look something like that really not brilliant not perfect but it'll do and like I say if you're doing both sides at the same time it does work out quite well so the next job you want to do is just go on the inside like before and just start filling in the gaps these gaps are a different shape of course because of the uh, back end here but we'll just fill them in nonetheless uh, pardon me Like so. I'll do one more row, why not? There you go, so there's the first few filled in. You can see it's starting to look not really like anything, but it's uh, it's a thing. So what I shall do now is I'll do a jump cut while I fill in this the rest of this and the other side. And I'll also fill in the, the large gap along the side here as well. Basically, the area between section nine, uh, 18 at the front and section 18 at the back, which is the side of the ship, so basically to the height of the rest of the wall. So you can see at the moment it's only so high. What it needs to do is be built up to the height of the uh, of the the top line of section nine of 18. So basically, if you look on the prototype, you can see the hull is all red. Uh, the, the red line is all the same height all the way along. So basically, just fill in the side as well. So what I shall do. I should do a jump cut, fill all that in, and then we'll move on. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So, I filled in all the hull, and it should look something like that. Not brilliant, not perfect, but uh, it, as I say, it, it will do. And I've also done the side, like you see, I've done the side panel, which is now even all the way along from the front all the way to the back. So, the hull is now in like a giant bathtub. Um, done the other side as well, and it should all look something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it looks all right, so that's pretty much the whole, the whole done anyway for the red section. One last job for today is basically just to fill in the red floor, which is not essential, but if you're doing an interior or something, you may want to uh, fill this in now. So, what we'll do, um, just fill the whole floor in. It's all basically all just red, so you just fill it all in with red like that. But I'm just going to use the fill tool quickly, so we we'll just fill one five nine fourteen by four thousand. And that fills on one side, and then the same the other side, and there we go. That's the floor done, and that is the red section of our ship done. There will be rudder and propellers to go on later on, but we'll worry about those another day. So that is part one of our Windsor or SS or RMS Windsor Castle, depending on how you want to call it, but it's RMS Windsor Castle, and that's it. So there we are. So that's part one done. Part two, when we come back, will be the white. Actually, the grey hull and the white superstructure beginnings. So that would be for part two, and then part three after that would be anything you like, really. So we'll go with that. So I shall leave it there, and we'll come back with another bit. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall be back for part two. So uh, bye for now. <laughs>